Good morning, one and all. Today we are discussing on hand instruments in operative industry. An instrument refers to a tool, device, or implement used for specific purpose or types of work and is preferred in professional or scientific field as a precision item and are generally required to perform specific procedures. The requirements of an instrument include availability, purpose, position or manner of use, application. So it should be easily available, should be designed for doing certain purposes, and should work in different positions, and should be designed for performing variety of applications. We'll see what are the materials used for the fabrication of hand operated instruments. Earlier, carbon steels were used for the fabrication of hand instruments. This carbon steels were exclusively used for the fabrication of cutting instruments. The carbon steel is made of carbon 1.2 percentage, manganese 0.2 percentage, silicon 0.2 percentage, and iron 98.4 percentage. The advantages include it is harder, but the problem with these instruments are it is prone to corrosion and it is brittle. Presently, stainless steel instruments were available. So, stainless steel is mainly used for fabrication of mixing and filling instruments. The main advantages of stainless steel include it has the property of passivation because stainless steel contains chromium. So, this chromium forms passivating layer that is the oxide layer that is corrosion resistance. And the problem with these instruments include the loss of sharpness easily during repetitive sterilization cycle. Another material called stellate so which consists of cobalt 90 percentage, chromium 35 percentage and trace amounts of tungsten molybdenum iron. The advantages include hardness and it uh, resistance to acid attack. The problem with the instruments include it's very expensive and diffi very difficult for manufacturing, particularly used for the fabrication of mixing and filling instruments. Other materials used, nichrome, tungsten carbide and retarno. Nichrome contains nickel 60 to 80 percentage Chromium 12 to 20 percentage, iron 0 to 26 percentage. The advantages include afford high temperature, so it can withstand at a high temperature and it is corrosion resistance. Problem is um, dull easily. So, another material called a tungsten carbide also incorporated into the hand instruments to enhance the cutting edges more durable. Another material called a tarno, it's an alloy of chromium particularly used for the fabrication of cement mixing instruments. The advantages of hand operated instruments includes better control, can be used for conservative cavity preparation, tactile perception is better, instrument is cheaper, particularly it can be used for beveling, trimming, gingival margins, finishing walls and excavating soft carries. Disadvantages include less efficiency, time consuming, operator fatigue, hand fatigue. The instrument has a larger tape. Instruments require frequent sharpening and sterilization. Coming to the classification of hand instruments, there are a variety of classifications by Black, Mazuk, Charbenu, and Picard. On to JV Black's classification. GV Black classified the hand instruments to cutting instruments, non cutting instruments, and other instruments. In cutting instruments, we have excavators and chisels. In excavators, we have ordinary hatchet, how angle former, and spoon excavator. In chisels, we have straight chisel, curved chisel, pin angle chisel, and some of the special chisels like enamel hatchet and gingival marginal trimmers. In non cutting instruments, we have amalgam condenser, mouth mirror, explorer, probe. In other instruments, we have knives file, scales, and carver. Coming to GV Black's classification, again, GV Black based on 
I'll give you black classified instruments based on angle syndrome, mono angle, bin angle, triple angle, and quadrangle. Moving to Marsu's classification of instruments. Marsu classified instruments into exploring instruments, isolating instruments, hand cutting instruments, restoring instruments, and miscellaneous instruments. In exploring instruments, they include a mouth mirror, explorer, tweezer. In isolating instruments, rubber dam, cotton rolls. In hand cutting instruments, we have excavators, chisels. In restoring instruments, we have condenser, burnisher. In miscellaneous instruments, matrices and scissors. Now, we are going to discuss on what are the parts of hand instruments. <clears throat> and hand instrument mainly consists of three parts, handle, shank, blade. Handle is a part which helps in grasping the instrument. Shank is a part which connects blade and handle. Blade means it's the working end of the instrument connect to its handle by shank. But in case of a non-cutting instrument, the part corresponding to the blade is called nib. And the end of the blade is called, end of the blade or the working surface is called face. Some instruments are designed with the blades on both the sides, it's called double-ended instrument. In some instruments designed into, designed in some instruments, the shank is designed like a mono angle, bin angle, and triple angle. So this is called contra angling. Instruments with the small short blades are designed in mono angle form. Instruments with the longer blade require two or three angles in shank to bring the cutting edge near to long axis of the handle. This is called a contra angling or balancing of the instrument. So we will see what do you mean by balancing or counter-angling of an instrument. So in order to cut hard enamel and tendon using hand instruments, much force has to be generated on the instrument tip. At the same time, the instrument should not rotate while it is in use. For this purposes, balancing of hand instrument is done. How to achieve balancing? By providing angles in the shank of the instrument so that the cutting edge of the blade is within 2 to 3 millimeter of the long axis of the instrument. This helps in prevention of rotation and also gives balance to the instruments and give additional advantages like a better access, a better view of field and a better, better control over the instruments. Moving to instrument formula. Again, G.B. Black also developed a numerical formula to describe the dimensions and angles of the working end of a hand cutting instrument. It's called instrument formula. So it consists of three units. The first unit represents the width of the blade in one by tenth of a millimeter. Second unit represents the length of the blade in millimeter. Third unit represents blade angle in degrees. But this three unit formula is applicable, applicable in case of an instrument with the cutting edge right angles to the blade. For example, the considering the instrument formula for enamel hatchet as 10, 7, 14, 10 means the blade width that is 1 by 10th of 10, that is 1 mm, for 1 mm is the blade width, 7 is the second unit, that is the length of the blade in millimeter, that is 7 mm, and the third unit is the blade angle, that is 14 degree. But in case of some instruments like a gingival marginal trimmer and angle former, there is one more angle which is other than right angles to the cutting edge is called the primary cutting edge. In these instruments, an additional unit is added to the three unit formula and makes to makes into two four unit formula. So here the instrument formula is four unit. Here the first unit represents the width of the blade and the second unit 
represents the cutting edge angle that is the primary cutting edge angle and this is the angle from long axis of the instrument handle till cutting edge axis in clockwise direction the third unit is the blade length in millimeter and the fourth unit is blade angle in degrees on to individual instruments first we have excavators excavators are the instruments used for excavating carries dentin and also helps in shaping the wall of the cavity in excavators we have ordinary hatchet it has a cutting edge of the blade directed in the same plane as that of the long axis of the handle and it is by bevel so ordinary hatchet is mainly used for giving retention areas sharpening line or point angles it can be used in push or pull motion or vertical or lateral scraping motion another instrument called hoe excavator here the cutting edge is perpendicular to the axis blade has a greater angle than chisel shank has one or more angles here the blade angle is greater than 12.5 degree this used to plane preparatory walls and form line angles can be used for for class 3 and class 5 preparations can be used in vertical push pull right or left motion another instrument called angle former this instrument is a combination of a chisel and a gingival marginal trimmer here the primary cutting edge at angle other than 90 degree has bevels on all three sides here uh, primary and secondary cutting edges are present mainly used for sharp and indian line angles and create retentive features in dentin can be give bevel on enamel margin preparations coming to spoon excavators this instrument has a curved blade which make it a double plane instrument the cutting edge may be in the form of a semi circle with an inner concavity and an outer concavity making it a resembles like a spoon cutting edge has a circumferential bevel and is sharpened to a thin edge the curved blade make it a lateral cutting instrument but in some cases spoon excavators sorry in some case of spoon excavators the end of the blade is circular or disc shaped where cutting edge all around the disc where it has cutting edges all around the disc except where it joins the shank this is called a discoid spoon excavator mainly used for removing caries excavation of old restoration and carve amalgam or direct wax pattern in types of spoon excavators include discoid and cleoid cleoid to cleoid is used to access difficult areas moving to chisels these instruments are mainly developed after ordinary carpenter's tool developed based on the uh, shank angle chisels are divided into mono angle chisel bin angle chisel and triple angle chisel in mono angle chisel the blade is shorter than straight chisel this single angle can be used in push or scraping motion to plane the cavity walls it has a blade angle of less than 12.5 degree in bin angle chisel is used to for cleave undermined enamel it can be used to for form axial wall and point angles can be also be used to give reverse bevels triple angle chisel is used to for flat flat and pulpal floor according to the blade type again chisel is divided to straight chisel and enamel hatchet straight chisel means has a straight shank bevel only on one side and the edge is perpendicular to the handle it's used to cleave and remade enamel may be pin angled and also used to for plain cavity walls 
enamel hatchet means it's a special form of chisel it has a straight blade so which make it a single plane instruments and a bevel on only one side a smooth it can be used for give smooth curve surface margin axle holes and it can be used to prepare retentive areas it also helps in removing unsupported enamel and hard caries another instrument called a gingival marginal trimmer this instrument is a modified enamel hatchet the modifications like there are two modifications one is in gingival marginal trimmer the blade is curved which make it a double plane instrument this helps in enhances the lateral scraping action the other modification include the primary cutting cutting edge at angle other than 90 degree this instrument is available as two pairs consisting of a set of four instruments right and left bevel the pencil and distal type another modification of chisel include weddell state chisel the shank here the shank and the blade of the chisel may be slightly curved other cutting instruments like knives discoid cleaved instrument and files knives we have finishing knives amalgam knives and gold knives we used to help it trim excess material on lingual fish and gingival margins and overhang of proximal restorations also can be used to trim and contour surface of classified restorations discoid discoid cleaved instrument is used to trim more burnish inlay only margins files can be used to trim excess restorative materials another category include direct and lateral cutting instruments direct cutting means force direct on the same plane as as long axis of handle and blade this single plane instrument example enamel hatchet lateral cutting force direct or perpendicular to the long axis of the handle and a blade this double plane instrument curved blade example used in lateral cutting or scraping motion we can use bonus curvature and gingival marginal trimmer so this finishes hand cutting instruments in operated industry it will be continuing with the non cutting instruments in the following sessions